guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley if you haven't been here before and if you're coming back for yet another lovely Thursday, I'm so glad to have you back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Givenchy Prism Libre Loose Setting Powder and I can't wait to show you guys what this product is all about. I post a new video every Thursday so if you're interested in keeping up with me and want to get notified when I post a new video, go ahead and click the bell. So here I have the product. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. I received this product complimentary from Influencer. If you don't know what that platform is, you should definitely check it out. It's super easy. You just go to the App Store, look up Influencer, and you'll find this icon. And what this platform is all about is you are receiving products from brands in exchange for an honest review, which is like what I'm doing right now. Now, sometimes you do them on Instagram, sometimes they're on Sephora or the company's own website. You get to try out full size products. Sometimes they send you a tester, but most of the time it's a full size product like this one here. But it's a really cool way to check out new products that you normally wouldn't try out for yourself. I'm going to show you just a few of those other products that I received in my influencer box boxes. If you're interested, in finding out more about this, I can totally make a video on it. Go ahead and comment down below if that's something that you would like to see. Now here are some of the products that I have received from Influencer. These are milk makeup products. This one here is the Vegan Milk Cleanser and then I also got the Vegan Milk Moisturizer. I loved these. Next, Tresemme Foam Shampoo, which is actually really cool because it's super lightweight for your hair. So there's that, this L'Oreal Lash Serum. The last one I'm gonna show you guys, those were all full-size products. I'm gonna show you guys what I got as a tester, Miss Dior Roses and Roses, and it's a very, very tiny bottle, but it's super cute. Those are just a few things that I've received from Influencer, and if you're interested in getting the free product for your honest review, it's really super easy. So. Here we go, right on into the review of the Givenchy Prism Libre Loose Powder. Now I definitely wanna preface this, I am not a beauty guru by any means. I do not consider myself to be one. We're gonna give this a try and pray that it comes out okay and that none of the big beauty gurus would frown upon anything that I have to say about this product. So here we go. So to start off, I was really nervous about trying out a new powder. I kinda get nervous with powders because I don't want my face to turn out super like washed out and my skin is really dry so it tends to look flaky and I mean if it's gonna dry out my skin I'm really not here for it so I was kind of scared about this product but I have to tell you I was pleasantly surprised so my first impression of this product was the box I think that the packaging looks really nice but it does just come in the cardboard packaging that most beauty products come in so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and show you the actual packaging of the product well, ASMR. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually ASMR or if you'd consider that as ASMR, but if it was, there you go. Now, the packaging on the actual product is pretty nice. Now, it's just a plastic, so I mean, it seems to be pretty thick, so if you drop this, hopefully it wouldn't like crack right off the bat because I am notorious for dropping things and breaking things. I'm just not that graceful. The top does feel kind of like a leather. It does have a texture. So I think that really kind of amplifies the look. I don't know if you can really see it. I think you can kind of see on the camera here that there's a little bit of texture. It's a little blurry. Sorry about that. It's stuff like that that makes these products feel elevated. Now this shade that I received in the mail from Influencer is number one in it's called Mousseline Pastel. I believe that's how you say it. Hopefully I didn't just butcher that, but this is the lightest skin tone they have. They have like, I want to say five or six different shades to cover a larger range of skin tones, but this one here is the color that I got for my skin tone. And we have this darker purple and a green. And then we have the lighter purple and a blue. The blue and light purple are supposed to be for radiance. And then on the other side here, the purple and the green are supposed to be for color correcting. And I have to say, I think this product works really well at color correcting and also giving you that matte look, but it's like almost a sheer kind of matte. So it's not too thick of a coverage. It's very lightweight. Now, when you go ahead and open this up, you just twist it and the top comes right off and you'll discover the softest little poof 
ever. It's amazing. It feels like a cloud. And then how the product works is you want to shake it twice and then you will see the product on the poof. Now you can definitely tell that there are four colors there. And then you're going to stamp, which is super cool that you see them in the shape and then just buff it out. And you can also use this product with a brush if you're more comfortable with that. If you don't want it to come on too thick, you can go ahead and just open the lid, remove the poof, and then just tap some of the product into the lid. You're gonna swirl your brush around in there and tap off the excess before you buff it into your skin. Now I'm gonna show you guys my before and after pictures. There was a good amount of difference between me just putting on my tinted moisturizer and concealer and then adding on the prism powder afterwards. So here you go. So overall, this product, the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder, I would definitely say if you're on the hunt for a really good setting powder that's gonna last you a long time because you don't have to use very much of this for it to work, you should definitely give this product a try, although it is an investment. From it being a name brand and it's color correcting and also gives you a little bit of a sheen, I love the way that my skin looked after I applied it. And again, I'm really not into powders that much, but I definitely love this product. I would say that it worked really great over my usual base which isn't even foundation I usually just wear a primer my tinted SPF that I got from my dermatologist and it's very lightweight on the skin which is really great and I don't like when things clog my pores and I have not felt that with this product it's not necessarily um, an everyday for me but then again I am not crazy into makeup but if you're somebody who's really into makeup this product might be really worth it for you Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, I post a new video every Thursday, and if you're interested in getting notified when those come out, go ahead and click the bell.